Hello friends. Welcome to Tech Talks Engineer channel. Today we will discuss about one of the most important operations done in electrical substation. Parallel operation of transformers, its pros and cons. In the last video we saw important components of electrical substation in brief. Among those components power transformer has significant role in substation. Let's see how parallel operation of power transformers is done. First of all why do we do parallel operation of power transformers? Sometime due to fault or maintenance work one of the power transformers is shut down. Hence to transfer the load of the transformer in off condition onto other transformers parallel operation is done. Let's look at the prerequisite of transformer parallel operation. 1. The most important condition is that all the transformers should have same impedance value so as to share equal load. Else transformer with lower impedance value will be loaded more and transformer with relatively high impedance value will be loaded less. Also unequal impedance may lead to overloading of least impedance value transformer and tripping of the same subsequently. Which will let other transformers in overload condition and tripping causing all transformers to shut down the supply. Now you can imagine how important it is to check impedance value of transformers before parallel operation. 2. Voltage ratings of the transformer should be same. For example 220 kV transformer can be paralleled with other 220 kV transformer only and not any other with different ratings. Else heavy current flow will occur and can cause damage to transformers as well as other substation equipment. 3. OLTC or OCTC tap position should be at same point. Since tap changers are used to regulate voltage level of transformers in different load conditions. It changes voltage level with its tap position. Hence to achieve same voltage level tap changer position of all the transformers to be made parallel should be same. 4. Load condition and MVA capacity of transformer should be as required that is MVA capacity of the transformer should be such that it should be able to cater the extra load which will be put after parallel operation without overloading itself. Now, with example let's see how parallel operation of transformers is done. As shown in diagram, let's consider substation with three transformers with 315 MVA and 400 by 220 and 33 kilovolts rating that is transformer 1, transformer 2 and transformer 3. All transformers with same impedance. 400 kilovolts is incoming side and 220 kilovolts 33 kilovolts are load sides of transformers that is load flows from 400 kilovolts side to 220 kilovolts and 33 kilovolts side. Assume that all the transformers are in service and are around 60% loaded that means each transformer has 189 MVA load that is total 567 MVA load on all three transformers. Now with this condition. If we have to take transformer 3 out of the service for some work. This is how we will follow the procedure. First of all connect all 220 kV sides of all three transformers. Then same way all 33 kV sides of all three transformers. Now load is evenly distributed. Now turn off 220 kV and 33 kV side of transformer 3. And now turn off 400 kV of transformer 3. Hence transformer 3 will be out of service and load will be shifted on transformer 1 and 2 that is 283.5 MVA load each on transformer. Now transformer 1 can be taken out by opening isolator and then proper earthing is at working points. This is how parallel operation of transformers is done. Now to take the transformer back in service exactly reverse of parallel operation procedure is followed. That is after removing earthing and closing isolators 400 kV is charged and then 220 kV and 33 kV is charged. What are pros and cons of transformer parallel operation? Pros. 1. Main and most important advantage is that power flow remains uninterrupted, as load is shifted on other transformers without any interruption. 2. This enables smooth routine maintenance work of power transformers. 3. It overall increases the availability of power system. Cons. 1. When transformers are in parallel condition, faults at any point affects all the transformers in parallel. And all the system shuts down. Whereas in individual case only respective transformer gets affected, and other remains unaffected. 2. Also, if operation goes wrong, it may damage substation equipment. 3. 
It cannot be done in case transformers are in full load condition. So guys this was all about transformer parallel operatio. Hope you liked the video. Please do like share and subscribe. Thank you.